In this illustration, we will discuss about a situation when a fighter plane is hit by an anti-aircraft gun. Here we are given that a fighter plane flying horizontally at an altitude of 1.5 km with a speed of 720 kph passes directly overhead an anti-aircraft gun. We are required to find at what angle from the vertical should the gun be fired for the shell to hit the plane. Muzzle speed of shell is 400 meters per second. In this situation, let's draw the diagram in which say this is a plane which is flying horizontally with a speed VP in a straight line and at a distance 1500 meter below the plane on ground, there is an anti-aircraft gun which is fired at an initial speed say u with an angle of projection theta with respect to vertical. It should be in such a way that by following projectile, the shot will hit the plane at some point. So, in this situation, we can directly write when the plane is vertically overhead and the gun is fired. So, we can directly say the horizontal speed of a shot and plane must be equal. That is why always when a plane is at this location, shot will be at this location. If they are traveling equal horizontal distances, then only the collision will take place or the shot will hit the plane. So, here we can write directly to hit the plane. We use u sin theta must be equals to vp. The horizontal speed of the shot must be equal to the plane speed. And in this situation here, you can directly see the value of muzzle speed is given as 400 and the plane speed is given as 720. We can convert it uh, its units to meter per second. So, this will be 400 sin theta is equals to 720 multiplied by 5 by 18. Here it is equals to 200 meters per second. So, you can see the value of sin theta is 1 by 2 and the value of theta is 30 degree. That would be the result of this problem. To hit the plane, the gun's barrel must be at an angle 30 degree with respect to vertical.